Hi, we're going to look at Flickr and creating a, a picture gallery using other people's pictures. It doesn't matter what page you're on in Flickr, once you're signed in, you can be on your home page or you could be on the main page for Flickr where you see your contacts and groups and things. Wherever you are, start by going up to the search box and this is where you're going to begin to look for those pictures you want to include in your gallery. So I want to prepare a gallery of animals um, for a future zoo visit. So I will start by putting in zoo animals. I have a choice of searching with um, other people's photos instead of my own photos. So I'm going to do that. I have the search results come up and I see a picture I want to include and so I click on the picture. Okay, right now I'm in the beta view. This is um, a new view in Flickr. Unfortunately in this new view when I come over here to the right hand side and find the three dots that indicate more options. Some of the features are not yet activated so I'm going to go back and opt out of this beta view and go back to the old experience. Eventually that will be activated and live but you want to see this view of the image so that you can have an active choice over here in the bottom right hand corner to add this picture to a gallery. I don't have a gallery yet created so I'm going to click here at the bottom create a new gallery zoo animals and I can write a description and then click create the gallery. You can see now it is faded because this picture has been added to that gallery and I'm done. I can just use the back arrow button or because we went through that beta version I'm just going to start the search again to animals and search everyone's photos is the default and I'm going to go look for another picture of an animal that we might see at the zoo. Oh we might see a lion so I'm going to click on this one. Again I'm not trying our new photo experience beta that one is not fully activated. I'm going to go over here to the right hand corner and add to a gallery. If you're ever downloading a, a picture that is Creative Commons um, and you want to do that from Flickr, you go to the View All Sizes. That's the page where you can actually do the downloading. Um, again, I find the gallery. This time it's created. It has the one photo I've added and so I'm going to say there and done. Now I could continue to add photos until I have 18 photos in a gallery. So if you need more than 18, create a part one and a part two of your galleries. To find the gallery, go to you and then down below in the menu you have galleries. I have quite a few. The, the most recent one you've created will come up right at the top. Let's click on that gallery and I'll just show you a couple of features here. I can reorder my photos once I've got them in the gallery. I can change the thumbnail. It's, it's by default the first picture that you chose. I can put my description of the gallery here. I can also put any prompts. Um, describe, oops, typing, this animal to your partner what is his name. Okay, and save that. So I can add prompts with questions, prompts with um, discussion points, um, information. Uh, I can share, I can um, embed and do lots of things. At the bottom people can add their comments and when I share I can also get grab the link and that's right there. And that is how you create a gallery.